Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing SCP Containment Breach, the Unity Remake. Once again, there was a new version released this weekend, 0.5.8. It's their two-year anniversary of developing this game, and apparently there are five new SCPs and a couple of new areas, so we're gonna check it out. I meant to post it when it came out, but you know how that shit goes. Oh, they put a light in here. It's not as dark. All right, let's go see if 173 is out here. He's not. Good. I've never seen this room before. That's really gonna bother me. All right, so we got a spiral staircase here. That leads to a bunch of rooms. This is fun. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like 173 is gonna drop down there! That was odd timing. Dude, it's like he could hear me. Where is he? We got a blurry whiteboard over here. Cool. There's, there's nothing here. There was... There was no reason for me to come up here. Where? Where is he? Downstairs? Must be. Where? Where? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Try to get in here now, idiot. Close it. Can I close it? We, sh we should be okay. I need your blood? Ugh. Wait. Did it say I need your butt? Is the toilet an SCP? <laughs> How come there are no mirrors in here? Why am I looking in bathroom stalls? Oh, come on, look at this. How's that supposed to latch? You just close it against the wall. There's no privacy there. How are you supposed to poo in that sort of situation? I need to be locked up. What? Danganronpa? Let's examine the body for clues. Looks like the injury was to his right knee. There's no murder weapon to be found. His footsteps lead this way, but why? There's blood on the floor in the footsteps, but no blood underneath his actual shoes. So we can conclude that these are not his real footsteps. Where do they lead? Out the door, and then the footsteps disappear. That's a bit odd, don't you think? Since there's blood over here, we can assume a struggle took place. And this is where the culprit decided that they were going to smack our victim over the head with whatever the murder weapon was. And then the victim tried to flee, but they were too badly injured. And they died right here from a blow to the back of the knee. Oh, looks like we found more evidence. There's a blood splatter here. This is where the initial blow took place. The culprit was waiting for our victim in this storage room. This is where the ambush took place. And what's this? A clue. The clue appears to do nothing. That's a bit odd. Is it? What? What? What is this? What are these? Oh! Uh, what? 
No. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. This time, if we run across the dead body, we won't conduct a thorough investigation because we know who the killer is. It was SCP-173. He was lurking nearby, didn't leave the scene of the crime. So if you don't know what this room is, if you haven't seen the previous videos that I've done, SCP Containment Breach, there's a playlist in the description where you can check them out. But this is the vent room. It's a little different than last time, but basically we have to ventilate the lower floor so we can actually go down there and not get poisoned. Okay, so I saved. We got lucky because this is right outside the spawn room. So we can go anywhere we want now. We can even go downstairs. We can go to the basement. Oh, come on. Clipboard with nothing on it? So there's five new SCPs in this version of the game compared to the last time I played, right? I'm gonna try to encounter them all, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. This just leads back to the, okay. We'll at least uncover a couple. If I don't get all five in this video, that just means that we have to, uh... Make another video on it. This is SCP-714? Really? What was that? I wish it would tell me what this is. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is that? Okay. What is this? Oh, this is the green ring. Oh, I thought 714 was the, uh, no, that's 614, right? The big machine that makes key cards. I don't know. Oh no, we're back in the wrinkly rug room. I really want to adjust that. Let's, uh, can we go back here? No. Can we go up the spiral staircase again? Maybe there'll be something here this time. Oh, there's something in the room. Should we close the door? Nah. Is that, I want to be the guy? I think it is. Oh, you poor bastard. Why did you play that game? Miserable in life, miserable in death, am I right? You have an entire fridge in here. It's not even a mini fridge. You got cocky and put a whole fridge in here. Well, okay. Cool. Where do I go? Crap. All right, we're back here. I ran around a lot, so I think we may have confused him. Okay. Oh, come on. I forgot about that thing. Let's just leave it. I know it's harmless, but let's just leave it. Bunch of stuff in here. Ooh, God! God, don't scare me like that. Let's pick up all these uh, codex entries. What? What's it doing? No. It's SCP-106. Oh, come on. That is not fair. Good Lord. Okay. He's still coming after me. Did he leave? Oh my god! Dude, leave me alone! Is he gone? Almost got- Oh, what?! No! Alright, alright, let's read some of these codex. SCP-207, it's a bottle of Coca-Cola. Okay, so it causes an increase in motor reaction and psychological functions. So it has caffeine in it. So it's just a bottle of Coke, right? 
a 50% increase every six hours. It's just a bottle of Coke. I'm pretty sure. Okay. SCP-983. So this is a monkey that sings? So it'll sing you happy birthday. Each verse sung by SCP-983 appears to age the owner of the item by what is estimated at one year. Oh, that's a cool SCP. Interesting. 553, those are the little moths in the cave. We've already seen those. 169. A marine arthropod of enormous size known as the Leviathan. I see. Hopefully we don't, we don't run into that thing. Uh, 682, must be destroyed as soon as possible. Well then why were you containing it? Oh, this thing's called a ghost duck. Object has the appearance of a duck wearing a sheet, similar to a simplistic Halloween ghost costume. Go duck has been observed to float. No shit. Attempts to weight the object down result in duck phasing through solid materials. There's also the flamingo duck, which a, a flamingo is not a duck in case I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's keep going. This room again? Really? I mean, whatever. This is a new room. This game looks great, man. What is that? Is this an SCP? SCP chip bag. I need to get in the habit of blinking before I go into any room. Which I didn't do right after I said it. Directly after I said it, I didn't do it. Okay. I quick saved just now. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know what this is all about. I learned my lesson there. SCP-1499. So that's the gas mask. We've already seen that. SCP-207. Oh, it's the Coke. Let's take it. Well, let's drink it. I don't care. What'd I just get? 1499. Yeah. So we've already seen the gas mask in a previous video. There's a security camera. I wish I knew what these were. No, come on. What is this room? Where does this go? Are these elevators? They are. New elevators. We'll go downstairs in a second. After we've looked around a little bit more. What? Is this the outside world? Are we really in the mountains? I'm not sure I trust this. Okay, so I've, I've aged one year, right? Crap, there's that flamingo duck thing. I don't know what it does. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I've only aged two years. You wouldn't think that would be enough to do this to me. Get me out of here. That was a bad decision. No. How am I still hearing that thing? That's the loudest object of all time. No, I shut the door because I didn't, couldn't tell if it was open or not. Run. Run. No, I closed it. No. 
No, it's not my birthday. Just because you say it doesn't make it so. Can we go down the elevator? Let's go down the elevator. No, I lost the game. It killed me. What, I aged like 10 years and I die? Here it is. 914. That's the one. And it is changed. Look, the vault doors are different. Too bad I don't have any items to throw in there. Because when you load a quick save, you lose all your items still. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if that's intentional or not. That might be an intentional thing that's been done. But I don't understand why. What's the point of saving if you don't save your items? SCP-178? SCP-330. This... It's safe. Oh, it's this rubber duck. And then, yeah, the candy, which we've already seen these. We don't want to do that. We'll get our hand cut off or something. Oh, and then these are the 3D glasses. Okay, we've already seen these. You know what? Let's go down the elevator. It's been a while. Maybe something's changed down there. The gas is gone. We ventilated it, so... I forgot when you load a quick save, it gets rid of the ventilated gas. Wow. All right, let's go down the elevator once more. This time the vents are off. And also, uh, quick save isn't working. When I press the quick save key, it doesn't actually save. So that's great. Okay, let's see if there's anything new down here. I'm staying pretty quiet, I'm crouching. Let's go in the center room. There's still only one of these things down here. What did I just pick up? Equipment? Oh, codex. Uh, 939, right, that's what we're looking at right here. Yeah, nothing new in here. What's that thing? Is that new? Looks like it is. We gotta get that thing. Oh, it's a duck. It's a weird metallic glowing duck though. So we gotta sneak past 939 to get it? All right, all right, let's go. Let's do this. We can sneak past this. I'm sorry, did you see that? He was hiding behind the pillar and just came into view as I was walking across. He does move. Great. He's right by the elevator! Come the... Come the fuck on, dude. Oh my god. No! I'm looking right at you, dude! Oh no. We're in trouble. No, what?! Fuck! 106 was coming out of the wall, too. I wonder what that metallic duck is. All right, guys, so I think we actually saw most of the new SCPs. If I'm correct, we saw the Coca-Cola bottle, right? And the most interesting one was the monkey. Happy birthday, monkey. I think the floating ghost duck and the flamingo duck were also new SCPs. And I think the final one was that weird metallic duck that we found in the basement. So... I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping for more humanoids, specifically the Plague Doctor, but if the Plague Doctor was actually in this version of SCP Containment Breach, I'm sure I would know. I'm sure it would be released to much fanfare. Uh, so that's fine, though. I like the monkey. I think's cool. 
The ghost duck is all right. I don't even know what the flamingo duck does. I'll have to go back and look at the document. But uh, yeah, the game is continuing to be improved and developed upon. I just wish quick save worked, because actually I found out what happened, because I tried to load my quick save and it took me to a previous quick save in a previous seed. So for some reason you're unable to quick save more than a couple times. I don't know if that's intentional, probably a bug. It's probably also a bug that when you load a quick save, you lose all your items, but that's been there for a long time and I keep bringing it up and I don't know if it's ever gonna get fixed. I assume before the game reaches 1.0, it'll be fixed because those are two pretty important bugs, especially for progression as the game gets larger and larger, you're gonna wanna save and you're gonna wanna have a sense of progress. So yeah, that was my video on the latest version of SCP Containment Breach Unity Remake. It's coming along. I uh, can't wait to play the finished product. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know in the comments what you thought about the video and about the progression of this game and whether or not you liked that little Danganronpa edit that I did. Super proud of it. If you like Danganronpa, I did play the first and second game on YouTube, full playthrough. So just look around for it and you'll find it. Great. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.